unboxing the Acer Predator X34P and setting up surround G-Sync. About a month ago, I bought three of these X34P monitors, 34 inches, G-Sync, curved 21 by 9, quad HD, IPS, overclockable to 120 hertz monitors. I'll go ahead here and open this box up and we can take a look at what is inside these Predator boxes. Here in this cardboard box is a wall mount for the monitor. If you want to mount these monitors onto a wall, you can do so. It's just a very simple, plain wall mount. However, it's still a nice feature to get with the monitors. I won't be using it, but it is nice. Here is a hanger for your headphones. You can attach this to the back of the monitor and hang your headphones on it. it comes with a USB cable, so you can extend the USB from your computer to the monitor. And here is the power cable which the power cable has to plug into this little box and that plugs into the monitor so keep that in mind if you do get this it's not just a cable from the monitor to your wall outlet you do have that little box behind the monitor are some instructions and an HDMI and display port cable very nice that these monitors come with cables. These cables are 1.5 meters long, pretty good length. Of course I won't be using them as I have to set up three of these. I need much longer cables for that. I'll take the monitor out of the box, put the phone back in and close the box up so I can use that to put the monitor on. And there it is. The curve on these screens is just awesome. It's 1900R. You can see the little G-Sync logo on the bottom left. Predator labeling, bottom center. Here on the back of the monitor, you can see the USB ports. You get four USB ports on the back. And on the left-hand side, you can see a red menu button with four black buttons above it. Under this little panel are the inputs for the HDMI, display port, audio, and power. And under the monitor itself, you can see the white strip, which is the RGB LED strip. Here you can see the monitor compared to my old 24-inch Dell monitor. Really loving the new size. Here you can see my old setup. I had three of these 24-inch Dell monitors. Behind them are three Samsung 60-inch curved TVs. I really do prefer the curved monitors and curved TVs compared to the flat ones. And on the left-hand side there by the window is a 4K monitor. I really do prefer 2K compared to 4K. And the regular 1920 by 1080 is just not enough for me. And here they are. The desk here is 80 centimeters wide by 2.4 meters long and these monitors take up the entire desk from front to back, left to right. The corners at the edges of the monitor setup are pretty much at the very front of the desk. Here is the menu, which if you press the third black button on the back of the screen, you can adjust the modes. There are some custom user modes and then standard, eco, graphics, and movie mode. If you press the second button on the back, you can adjust the brightness. And if you press the first button on the back, you can change between the DisplayPort and HDMI inputs. If you press the red button on the back, the main menu comes up. Here you can adjust picture settings, brightness, contrast, blue light, dark boost, adaptive contrast. Here you can adjust the color settings, gamma, color temperature, saturation, six axes color. Under audio, you can adjust the volume. Under gaming, you can change the overdrive, the overclock, you can turn it on and off. You can adjust the max fresh rate once it's on. You can apply and reboot that overclock, and you can add an aim point to the screen, which adds a crosshair to the center of your monitor, so you can see where you're shooting if you're playing a first-person shooter game. In OSD, you can adjust the language, OSD timeout, transparency, and the refresh rate number, which will show you the actual number of frames that you're getting in the top right hand corner of the screen. 
Under System, you can change the input from DisplayPort or HDMI. You can adjust the ambient light, the RGB lights underneath the screen. You can assign hotkeys, wide mode, deep sleep, quick start mode, and there's a setting for power off USB charge. You can see the resolution, 10,320 by 1,440, and refresh rate, 120 hertz. If you are using G-Sync, make sure that G-Sync is enabled in your NVIDIA settings. And here they are in all their glory. I'll let you watch this, and I hope you liked the video. I hope it helped, and thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.